Gracious God, we are co-creators. We build the world in which we live. We hope to build a home on this site. We are here this morning to bless a site, a project, an organization, and we pray that the family that comes here will continue to be a blessing for the neighborhood as well as for themselves. Help us to stay focused and to stay safe. Keep us mindful that we are representatives of faith communities. And may every measurement, cut, and fastening be a gift and a prayer. We pledge to work together and get this right. Bless us all. Amen. 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 Hebrew scripture, second book of Kings. You might not know this story. One day, Elisha, he was a prophet. Not one of the, I think he was one of the big 12. Oh, he's a big guy. Big guy, okay. Yeah. Okay, John says so. Went to Shunem, and there was a wealthy woman there who urged him to stay for a meal. In the course of time, whenever Elisha traveled that way, he would stop for a meal. The woman said to her husband, I have come to believe that the person who stops for a meal is a prophet of God. Let us set up a small room on the roof with a bed, a table, a chair, and a lamp. Then he can stay here whenever he comes near us. One day, Elisha arrived, and he went up to his room to rest. Elisha asked Gehazi, what can be done for this good woman? He said, well, she has no son, and her husband is old. Then Elisha said, call her. She was called, and she stood in the doorway, because she never went into the room of the stranger. About this time next year, the prophet said, you will be holding a son in your arms. So I wasn't there at the time, and I'm presuming this is all accurate, but, but it just shows what hospitality can, can bring about. And the idea of having a place that you can then share with others, I think that's what's holding this crazy world together. Not much else is. But, but it just shows what hospitality can can bring about and the idea of having a place that you can then share with others i think that's what's holding this crazy world together not much else is and if it weren't for the goodness of the people that live on this street and that work with habitat your volunteers the people that work with thrivent the people who don't have to do this work but do it because they want this gift their gifts their talents to be part of something that's going to help others that's what's holding this world together. So at least that's what I think. So now we have three things. And the first thing is um, these wood shavings. And if, if we could come this way, because I want you all to take a handful of wood shavings and throw them up on the house here. And I brought wood shavings because having worked on a few construction sites, I know that when there's wood shavings on the ground, it means there was work done there that day. So. And now, now I got to add the water. And so, and I'm really grateful that you're taking pictures because I can't do this and that at the same time. <laughs> so this is not holy water and don't drink it. I mean, it's, oh. it's safe, it's potable, <laughs> but this is representative of the sweat that's going to go into the house. Oh, that's nice. Final thing is, I have a key, and, I, and the key here, I believe, is a symbol of the love that is being unlocked by the partnership between Thrivent and Habitat for Humanity. So what I thought is just, just holding this, we can pass it one to another, because we're all part of a team that's making this happen. And it's green. I like the symbolism of that. And it's a gold key, yeah. And uh, gold. <laughs> perhaps this could even be presented eventually to the owners and say it was, it was here and was part of the blessing of the site. And uh, we hope that it's yeah. a sign of uh, nothing but good things to come. Wonderful, long partnership with Habitat. And we are excited this year to be able to provide a, some light here in the city and to partner with our, our church partners and Habitat and volunteers. We're very excited to get started 
and bless the community, bless this neighborhood, and, and bless a family. So, looking forward to it. At, at our church, we've been talking about sheltering in God's presence as we were given a shelter in place order. And I was talking to Kim um, the last couple of days, and it just struck me how important having safe, affordable housing is, especially in crises like this. Mm -hmm. um, and, and it's also important that we um, are able to shelter in God's presence in the midst of being having to shelter in place. Um, but the physical is so often connected to the spiritual. And so the work I see us doing is physical and it's spiritual. And I want to read just out of Psalm 61. It says, um, I, I call as my heart grows faint, lead me to the rock that is higher than I. For you have been my refuge, a strong tower against the foe. I long to dwell in your tent forever and take refuge in the shelter of your wings. For you, O oh God, have heard my vows, have given me to the heritage of those who fear your name. Lord, we ask that you would uh, bless the family that will live here, uh, that they would not only be sheltering in a place that is safe and full of, of just prosperity, but that's also full of your presence, O oh Lord. So God, we just ask that you would bless them. We ask that you would bless um, all of the, the workers that will be here um, and, and all that work with Habitat. God, allow us to build shelters that are um, safe, that are affordable, um, that bring um, prosperity to the families and to these communities, Lord, this street and Grand and Grandview. God, allow us to then also experience the fullness of your spirit, the fullness of your presence, God, so that we might have a place to shelter physically, but also a place to shelter spiritually. In your son Christ's name we pray. Amen. 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 Amen.